Hey everyone and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Flip Side. Today I'm going to do things slightly differently to the usual way. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background to video calling first before I'm going to go into a very special phone which is the Kyocera VP210. So let's get started. So a bit like I'm doing now, the front facing camera is the main star of this story. And uh, yeah, of course video calling and selfies are the norm now and we've seen them on our smartphones, and we have them on our um, tablets, but the front facing camera goes a, wa a long way back. I think we can all agree that during the pandemic, video calling and video conferencing has not just saved our careers in a, in a way, but also connected us to our family uh, and friends that we couldn't see, uh, especially for me, my family and friends have been all over the world. Um, and so I'm really grateful for the technology and things like Zoom and uh, Skype and FaceTime, of course, have all contributed to our connectivity here. Now, when iPhone 4 came out in 2010, it launched a feature called FaceTime. And I think many of you use FaceTime nowadays, and I remember it well when it was introduced. I didn't think much of it initially, but then experiencing it on an iPhone or an iPad definitely made a difference. And now it's become a really regular uh, thing for me to just call my family and my sister on. And I, I love it. But yeah, there was a time where FaceTime didn't exist and we used 3G mobile phone, mobile phone calling to, uh, to connect to our family. But in a sense, it was very expensive at the time and not something that I would do on a regular basis. So many phones feature video call cameras and you've seen a lot of 4G and 3G phones with a little camera in the front of the screen or a rotating camera that can do exactly that. Now, I'm going to showcase um, a little video call with my housemate uh, on uh, my Sharp 903S8, which is a, a 3G phone uh, which was issued in 2005. <music> It's also the first video call phone in the world, a 3G phone, the P2101V by Panasonic, or back in the day called Matsushita. Having said that, it's not just about video calling. The Panasonic P504iS also featured a small front-facing camera of just 0.1 megapixels um, that was able to take wide angle uh, selfies, basically. Yes, it was just a camera made for selfies. There was no video calling, uh, it's a 2G phone, but it was built in just to give people the option to take a, a, a better selfie um, rather than having to use the back of the phone. why I'm actually doing this video today, let's talk about the Kyocera VP210. This is the world's first mobile phone with a front-facing video camera. And some would argue that it is also the first camera phone, but let's talk about that in just a moment uh, and just explore some of the use cases because they're quite different to um, a natural camera phone like the Sharp 04. But yeah, let's, let's go and look, look at that and talk about it. The difference between the Kyocera and the Sharp 04 is simple. 
the Coursera allows you to make video calls with a front-facing camera and the Sharp is a camera phone that allows you to see the subject in a viewfinder and has camera controls so you can take actual photos of the things that you see. Um, but I would actually say that both of them are phones that have brought the camera to life. So they both deserve first place in terms of the camera phone inventions. And uh, I wouldn't place one before the other because like I said, the use cases are very unique uh, or slash just unique. So yeah, um, that's really a point that people can argue until the cows come home, but that's how I would define them. And uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments and feedback. Ask me any questions if you like. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And we'd love for you to see you next time. Until then, bye.